I saw where you're working. Yes, sir. God wants to lift you up until your enemies will be shocked. Thank you so much. But I saw there's a certain white man. Yes. Huh? Yes. There's a, let me call him, let me say a boy. Yes, he's younger than me. As I'm saying, let me call him a boy because of what he's doing. Yeah. I want to pray for you because this boy sometimes is even trying to make things difficult for you. Very, very true. Huh? Very, very, very true. And one thing that he doesn't know is that you also have the grace of this house. Amen. Amen. The second grace is that you know what God wants to do with your life. I know, yes. And I want to tell you, after I pray for you, this boy will leave you. Amen. Because to me, he's still a boy. Yes, very young. He's very young, but yeah. he's busy giving you problems at work. Yes. Giving you problems. I'll pray for you, and I'm telling you, you must take his position. Yes, amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah! Are you hearing me? I'm hearing you, sir. You by fire, by force. Amen. Because if you don't take his position, you, he can end up, you know, doing his things and so that you must be kicked from the work. Yes, some of the things is not showing me and I have to know it and he's hiding it. He's hiding. Yeah. So I want to tell you that today God will fight for you. Hallelujah! <laughs> My name is Sam Tumbeni. I will fellowship here in Charis. I'm from Guyane. And the, the prophecy is very, very, very true. Because there's my, a white boy, he's my manager, and he's resigning, he's going. The only thing that he knows that I'm the one who must take the position, and he's hiding all the information so that I must know, I must learn from the scratch. And he knows that even himself, he was taught in the, by the company what he was doing. So the, uh, pr uh, the prophecy is very, very, very true. So can you please tell me, as you are the one who's supposed to take over the position and there are certain things that you're not knowing, how is this thing really affecting you? It's not affecting me at all because it's a little thing, just only maybe something that is from the head office doesn't affect me because if they want me to do it, they're going to send somebody to teach me. And it's a small thing. It's not it's many of the things I know. It's a small thing. It doesn't affect me at all. But today, by the grace of God, the prophet was able to locate you and tell you that, that indeed, that position is yours. And as I believe that, as the prophet has spoken, it, meaning it's been declared in heaven, how are you feeling about your standing? I'm feeling so very, very great because our company doesn't believe in black people. I'm telling the truth. Even myself, I was waiting that maybe that position, they're going to bring a white person. Uh, now I know exactly whatever the devil can do, it won't shake me. Even though it can bring a white person, it won't shake me because the word has already been spoken. And how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling so great, so great. I'm feeling so great. I'm relieved. Yeah. I believe that what you took as a minor issue, God was able to resolve it. And I believe that as God has done it for you today, what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there who are facing situations and just say, you know what, it's a small issue. What can you say to them? Uh, the man of God was saying a certain word that maybe before it was a problem to me. He said, there's nothing we call it too late. Even myself, now it's a little bit longer. I thought maybe it's late and I was giving up and said, okay, let me focus on the things of God. And now I understand that there's nothing, we call it too late. So I'm advising people to hold on. Hold on and wait. Your time will come. And when that time comes, I'm telling the truth. As the daddy told me that there's nothing can stop me. He told me before that there's nothing can stop me. I will, must go and do it. I'll succeed this time. So I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. 
We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that the Almighty God has done it for you and you shall surely come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Surely, surely I'll come back. Thank you so much. I want to pray for you. Amen. Oh, you remain? Amen. But, uh, God wants to honor you with something. Okay. Because the issue of your job. Yes, sir. You've been complaining about it. Yes. Huh? Yes, that's true. And I'm seeing you apply. Yes. Different places. Yeah, I've been applying. Huh? Yes. But there was a man that was close to you before. And... Uh, So I'll pray for you because I saw something. But I believe God will help you today. Yeah? Okay. You're going to marry soon. Amen. You'll marry soon, but I saw gifts. Gifts, okay. On, I, won't, I won't reveal many things. I want God to help you. Okay. And I want to tell you the one that you're with now is the one that will marry you. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw gifts, you know. It was not long, it was your birthday. I saw gifts and I saw Valentine's Day gifts also. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Just so, just so, Kiena. Kiena, Wamato. I will pray for you. Marriage is coming. Okay. Amen. Don't regret anything. Amen. God will help you. But God also wants to lift you. And I'm seeing something like a job also. Yeah, so I have an interview on Tuesday. Jesu, Jesu, Kiena. Kiena wa matomo. Come out, you demon. Come out. Come out. Your spirit of delay. In Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. Come out, you demon. This thing must leave your stomach. In Jesus' name, you're free. Hi, my name is Nakaro Ramapurana. I'm from Alberton, and I do confirm the prophecy to be true. Um, man of God, I'm prophesied about my job, that I've been having problems. And yes, indeed, um, I've been complaining a lot about my job. I've been tired of it for a long time, so I've been applying to different... Um, positions so um, what he said was true and um, the other thing he prophesied about was that marriage is coming very soon and um, he said that the person I'm with now will be the one that will marry me and I confirmed that I do have a person and so yeah I look forward to getting married <laughs> and can you please tell me what the issue of your jobs working how did it affect you um, it was very discouraging, I can say, because uh, I was working in a position that I know it's not right for me, you know. So I had to force myself every day to wake up and go to this job, you know, and still have to perform even though my heart is not in it. So it was a very tough thing to go through, yes. And how are you feeling right now as they've spoken to you and what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? 
Uh, well, now that they've spoken to me, I do believe it's a word from God. So um, I'm very hopeful and uh, I feel very excited. And I know that my life is about to change. And um, I will just encourage anybody, you know, if they want to hear from God, you know, if they want to find any solution to anything they're going through. Um, this is the place, this, the, the grace in this house is too much. And um, I've never regretted to come here. So, yes. Thank you. I want to pray for you for healing. There. There. For healing. There. Sick. Yes. Jesu, Jesu, Kiena. Kiena, Wamatomo. Kiena, Wamapelelo. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Yes. You need God to heal you. <laughs> huh? Thank God. Are you hearing me? Yes. As long as you've been suffering, and this is a disease of blood. Yes. Are you hearing me? I can hear you. So, but I want to tell you, even these people of your family, they must know that God has healed you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So from here, go and rejoice. Because sometimes the whole of your body becomes very painful. Yes, huh? yes, yes. And becomes so mixed up. Yes. And here, there's a problem. Yes, yes. In the stomach here. Yes. As if there's an object here. Yes. Yeah, that is yes. mixing up your life. Yes. Because it's even creating constipation sometimes. Yes, yes. So today, I'll pray for you and God will heal you. Thank you. Oh, you're a man? Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because already, also, the second thing, first thing is disease of blood. Second thing, devil has affected your heart. Yes. You must yes. be careful of high blood and sugar diabetes also. Yes. Oh, you're a man? Yes. But God has healed you today. You're free. You're free. Nandine Londe Raguara, Gabuzuran de Bafawesi, a Zotazo prophet Andris Zuabacuamba, the Zone, Gorich Pingachinji, the Sokoto one and the Chuk of Fabutungun and Gomutumbu, Nianeva, Chuk Pingadia bleed the Maropa, and this abuser with them. Sino Zotazo. Andres, Prophet Andres Abakwamba, the in this one. Can you please tell me with the issue of your health, how did it really affect you? Uh, it's the one the 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 as we visit a kagara and under the abundance of the visor of with me. And did you try to go to the doctor? No, that is a true year, the doctor in the first of with me. And how are you feeling right now as they have spoken unto your life? Ah, so no, the Kufan and then the Kufanda Poro and Gaman and Gori, the Susan, the Vandessa Divisor of with me, Mobilian Wangamara, so you know, the Kufanda Takaria, so no, 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 Come, all of you. Come. I want to pray for you. You, Mukhalis. You, you are married, huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Go and sit down. Let me pray for you first. My, my sister, there's a spirit that visit you. You know, are you the one who's married by Kosa man? Huh? I think I'm searching for you.
You're free, Mama. Listen, I want to pray for you. There's a spirit that visits you. Are oh, you hearing me? Mm -hmm. So now, but you need to, to read the word of God every time before you sleep. Okay. Are oh, you hearing me? Okay. Because this spirit is, is doing many things on you. So, but today, it's, it's, a, it's a day of your deliverance. <sighs> So you try to take it every day So you try to take it in the night. Yeah. Huh? To yeah. To... yeah. So today you must leave this lady. Oh, yeah. you are Hmm? So why why are you doing this? Why Jesus In Jesus' name, she's free. Right, Mama, don't worry. My name is Mukhadra Soka. I come from Tembis. I confirm the prophecy is true because when I'm sleeping, I feel like a, I'm not okay. And even the reading Bible, sometimes I'm reading, sometimes I'm not reading. Mm. And how did it affect you? It affects me when I, I go to pray. Mm. And the man of God spoke about uh, this which is troubling your life because during the night they make you sleep with things and we heard during your deliverance when the demon said that they make you sleep with things. Were you aware of what was happening to you? Yes, I, I'm aware. My spiritual husband is always visiting me. And uh, the demon also confirmed that it was affecting your marriage with your husband. Is it true? Yes, because when he, he's at work, I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm like, I'm but if he, if he's a man, he's like, yeah. But today, as they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. I thank Jesus because uh, me and my family were delivered today. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Thank you. Amen. Are you having a girl? Where is your girl? Huh? Are you having a girl? Yes. Huh? Yes. Where is she? She's sitting that side. I've got two girls side. Who travel to Pulukwan sometimes? She's the, the big one. The older one? Yes. Call her. Tuki? Mama, I want, I want to pray for you, please. Because I'm seeing you sometimes traveling to Polokwane. Huh? Yeah. So I want to tell you, please be careful. Because the devil wants to cause an accident. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. The devil wants to cause an accident. Because the same spirit is the one that is eating your money. Mm. <laughs> yes. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Because sometimes you people. You and your husband, you fight because of that. Yes. Huh? Yes. The same spirit is the one that wants to kill this child now. Jesus. So please, reduce the issue of traveling. 
And before you travel, come here so that they pray for you first. Are you hearing me? Yes. Come here, you go to mama or anyone who's a pastor, they pray for you so that, you know, this plan of devil must fail. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. So, and I'll pray for you, mama, don't worry. The issue of the spirit causing havoc in the house is finished. I'm from Takani. The prophecy that the prophet gave me today is very true, 100% true. He started by calling me and saying, where is your daughter? Then I called the daughter. She, she, the prophet said, I see a, a, a daughter traveling to Polokwani. Yes, most of the time he is traveling to Polokwani. And then he's, he, the prophet said he must come to church before he is traveling to Polokwane so that they must pray for him. And that is true because the prophet said he see, he see the spirit of accident. Last night I dreamt about her. This morning I nearly wanted to tell her but I said hey, I will scare her. Then I just, I, I had a dream about you but I didn't tell her. I dreamt her, got an accident, passed away, I was crying. So whatever the prophet said is very 100% true. Mm. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God was able to locate you and your family and as I believe that today you are free from all the plots of the enemy? I'm very much happy. I'm, I'm, I'm very much happy. I don't know what to say. I appreciate everything. What happened today? Today is my day. That's why I was, they say well, God's time is always the best. Amen. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to other parents out there? As you were able to drag your children and all your family to the Lord, what can you say to other parents out there? To all the parents all over the world, I would like to encourage them to come. They must not come to church alone, leaving their children behind. I was praying for, for this day to come because every day I was saying, I wish they can prophesy my child. I was saying there is something wrong. Yes. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Amen. Mama, don't worry about the issue of the baby. You. Yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. Come. Oh, don't worry about the issue of the baby. Are you me? Amen. Where is your child? He's there in the kiddies area. Huh? She, he's there at the kiddies area. You know, the reason why the devil is doing what he's doing is because the devil is afraid of what that child will become. Amen. Are you me? Yes. So, bring that child. I want to pray for that child. Thank you. So, did they do operation on the baby? Huh? No, they didn't. But did they it. tried to do operation. Yes, they huh? tried. Yes. They tried. So, don't In worry. fact, they suggested and then we saw that we didn't go for the operation. Lift her up. You know, when I'm praying for you, I'm hearing about a house. Are you hearing me? Yes. God wants to honor you with your house. Amen. Are you hearing me? Jesus' name. She's free. My name is Peli Swasibati from Pretoria. The prophecy I received regarding the situation about my son, it is true. Um, God indeed located him to say, um, 
we shouldn't worry about his health. Um, sometime when he was born, doctors had certain diagnosis, which we it's a matter that we presented to God. We they were proposing an operation, and we sought um, Daddy's counsel, God's counsel to through Daddy. To obviously we we couldn't go through it after that um, counsel, and then. Um, well, uh, we thought the issue is over until God um, reminded us not to worry today. But we are very glad that before there could be problems again, um, God spoke about the issue. Amen. Yes. And as a parent, as a parent, as a mother, how did it really affect you? Well, um, naturally, we were very concerned. Um, but as I say, since we God gave us direction. The first time they said he must go for operation and we presented the matter to him. Um, it actually brought peace. In fact, it has been, um, I can say, a year since and the, the child has never given us problems in terms of his health. So um, today was a confirmation that God still has us in mind. His hand is still upon this child. Yeah. Yeah. We give glory to Jesus for your life. I believe that the Almighty God has restored you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. My brother, the issue of children, come, stand up. The issue of children is destroying you. Huh? Yes. Because, I don't know, I saw, it's like one, two, three. How many children do you have? I have three. Huh? Three kids. That's what I'm saying, one, two, three. So I want to pray for you, because enough is enough. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. So I looked at you, I saw these children. Yeah. And in my heart, I was crying. Because these children are suffering. Yes. Huh? Yes. So you don't need to worry. God will help you today. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Stand up. Follow me. Jesu, Jesu, Kiena. Come on. Kiena. Okay, yes, I'm Emmanuel Mabasa from Guyana. Uh, the prophecy comes straight to me today. Uh, the prophet asked me uh, how many children I have. Uh, I confirmed I have three. I have three kids. And then uh, my children are suffering just because now I'm not working. Things are very, very, very tough in my life. Yes, I, yes, I confirmed that uh, it's true. How did it affect you? As you know that you're a Christian, you're praying, you're praying to God to help you and things are not working hard. How did it affect you spiritually, physically? Yeah, it's affecting me uh, both sides, like, spiritually, physically, because even to pray is very hard to me now. It's very, very, very difficult. I can't pray uh, and I'm very tired to, to live a life of begging. Yeah, it's very, very painful. How are you feeling right now as I believe that the Almighty God is seeing you through? Uh, now I believe God is doing something for me. I'm very happy for today just because I get even a deliverance for my family. Yes. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that as the Almighty God has located you through the prophet, you shall surely come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Thank you.